Hey everyone, Pop Culture Hero here. Um, going to be doing a, start doing some reviews of Loot Crate, which is a if you don't know is a subscription box service that costs about twenty bucks in the U.S. And you know it's a I, I've been getting it for a couple months and I haven't been shooting the videos and you're supposed to do that because of the internet and media and YouTube journalism and just you know social media and such. But let's let's go ahead. This one's this is the November 2014 crate. If I didn't say that already, and um, yeah, I'm interested in this one. It's supposed to have all kinds of gamer things. On the bottom, it's got a new thing. Attention looters! This crate is designed differently than any other crate before it. Please read the first page of the magazine to see how. Yeah, so Loot Crate has a magazine every month. It's for some people, it's the draw of it. Now, where is I, this? Is my handy knife. Cut the tape. And here we are. Okay, sort of a road. Oh, I can already see somewhat what this is. Sort of a Mega Man theme to it. I can see the first item is this Mega Man helmets. Um, looks like four different colors of helmets. Mini helmet replica. Well, that's pretty cool. We'll see. Classic Mega Man. Quite the Mega Man fan. The Mega Fan. I'm sure lots of people are going to say that on these videos. They are a Mega Fan of Mega Man. Ho ho. And, oh, that's a great one to get. I got the blue one. Sweet. And it is a. Let me just turn that off. There we are. So. It's nice. It's a it's a metal replica, appropriate because he's a robot, and he would presumably have a metal helmet. I'll set this to the side for now. We'll set it up at the end and see how that works. Okay. Next item. Oh, okay, cool. So this is a Halo. I told you they were all video game themed this month. Um, so this is a Halo Covenant. Uh, these are one of those drop pod things. I've, I've actually gotten a bunch of these before, and they're they're pretty cool. This is one I may not have though, the Covenant one, Metallic series. So the figures inside these little cheaper versions of the drop pods, which obviously you already know what figure it is. It's it's this little Covenant Elite. I think he's an Elite whatever that is. I'm not super familiar with the newer Halo characters, but I do like this toy line. So yeah, just really basic inside the pod. The pod has a very nice metallic feel. Got that nice covenant. Ooh, and some vents. Nice. And can just stand up and look like something really intimidating to drop troopers in. There is a blaster. A little halo brick with little purple metallic cowboy. Very nice. And oh, he's all pre-assembled in this bag. Used to assembling them. That is very good. Oh cool, he's got nice little shoulder tampos. Gives him a little insignias on his shoulders. And the head, the head has a, oh that's a really good range for a Covenant. I am liking this guy. Very Arbiter-like. Maybe that's what this is supposed to be, a little metallic purple Arbiter. I could d dig that. Sweet. Okay, we got a shirt this month. The crate doesn't always do a shirt, but they've been doing them. Okay, I have 
no idea what this is. What, what, what is this? Some kind of ninja? Is this Shinobi? What am I looking at? It's got words on it. Matey. Fighter. Surly. Rogue. Oh, I bet this is for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. He's a pirate. And there are all kinds of piratey words on here. Uh, I gotcha. That's a pretty cool shirt. What else we got? What else? Oh, a Street Fighter or something? It's a Loot Crate exclusive. Is it a headband? Like Ryu's headband? That would make sense. Okay. Pirates vs. Ninjas. The ancient debate of pirates vs. ninjas stretches back through the ages to 2001, where battle was first questioned at Real Ultimate Power to Net. Hmm. Okay, so they just want you to choose. I wasn't expecting this. This is sorta of gamery. They want you to social media play pirates versus ninjas. Just pick a side, I guess. Eh, lich dumb battle image. Is this gonna have a code on it? It does. Uh Battle Mage. I I don't know. Those things are sort of a bust for me. I don't have Ooh, what is this? A little bag for Assassin's Creed Unity. A very nice little bag. With a coin in it. A heavy coin. It says Lovely metal coin with a lovely little bag. Feels like something they would give out at conventions, but man, that is that is some nice quality in there. Diecast metal! Here is the the pin for this month. Mega Man versus Ryu. Or other two people dressed as Mega Man and Ryu, it kind of looks like. Um, and digital Mega Man comics. This comic series is pretty cool. Archie's been doing some good stuff with Sonic and Mega Man. And going to the classic Mega Man. Oh, there's a Steam code for Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Oh, oh well. Not going to use those codes. Anyway. What? What is going on with this magazine? It says Battle. So, if we flip open the box... And they've been doing this lately too. The box is actually some kind of diorama for Hunter Light's robot repair, I suppose. And there's an E-tank graffitied on the wall and Zap. Some kind of mo CD motel in the back. I mean, we didn't really get too many figures, this one. I mean, I've got, sure, I've got this Covenant, and he can... He can stand on his brick or not on his brick. Just be a... Just be walking down the street. Terrorizing fools. All right, so here is the Loot Crate magazine. And it's thicker on the cover. Okay. Battle Crate Instructions. Oh, okay, so this this one becomes more of a playset when you build it up correctly. I see they're trying to get more clever with their boxes to make it into a little playset. Uh okay, with little pop ups. I see, I see. And this is from last month, which is that horror crate. Obviously because it was October. Um, some Assassin's Creed stuff. Sneak peek at some Call of Duty zombie 
Halo is Battle Evolved. Here's the Mega Crate that someone's lucky enough to get. Okay, so all that. Including those really cool Amiibos that are coming out. And 3DS with Smash Brothers, a Wii U, all nice Nintendo Wii stuff. Pirates vs. Ninja shirt. So this really doesn't have anything to do with Assassin's Creed 4, it's just Pirates vs. Ninjas. Alright, alright, well I guess it's vaguely video gamey. Assassin's Creed 4 Unity coin with Velvet Pouch. Only initiates of the Brotherhood and Templars will recognize this coin. Hmm. The Mega Man Mini Helmet, I think we did pretty good getting the blue one. Though, red... I don't think the red one would be accurate to Proto Man. I guess it would just be sort of powered up with his elemental, like, robot master powers. I guess that would make sense. Oh, and here are the cutouts, so you get some... Okay, so I'm supposed to cut these out. Punch, well, they're, they're pre-cut, so they're punched out. Okay, so this is why you have a playset to build. You have little punch-outs of Ryu and... Let's punch one out. Uh, I don't know why you have a fireball. Uh, I mean, a charge shot. What, 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 do I, what would I do with the charge shot? I, it would, it's not going to float unless you have something for me to just sit it on. It's just gonna be on the ground, man. Or is this a Hodokin? I guess you I guess you decide if that's a Hodokin or a charge shot. Uh which Ryu, which Ryu? Uh This one seems like the most iconic Mega Man to go with. Yeah, that's his jumping pose. That that's that I, I'd say I like that one the best. But I don't have to punch him out. So, let's go back over what we got. And I can finally peg this Mega Man helmet to the stand. This Mega Man helmet is pretty cool, just as a curiosity piece. And I do like all the metal. We really did get a lot of metal in this one. Oh. I want to be careful with that stand. It might snap. There it is. And... Just put your Halo brick up here. Street Fighter. Junk. All right, all right. I'm trying to be artsy about this and it's just not, not going. And this is video, so I'm probably just boring people. Anyway, yeah, so that's the stuff. And we also got that crazy Pirates vs. Ninjas shirt. Pirate shirt. So, I think this was a pretty cool one. Let's open up this thing. I bet it's a Ryu headband that, that this thing is. I have no idea how to tie a headband, for one thing. Yep, it's a headband. I'll just do my best here. Should I put the Street Fighter logo on the front? Is that how it works? Uh, you can't see any of this, but at least you have a lovely display of toys to look at. Alright, sweet, I did it. Up to me. Hadouken! This is pretty cool. Got a Ryu headband. Alright. 
So, that's enough for me. Pop Culture Hero, out.